there was this time where what do you call it um I almost quit the game because every gold card I had was an unlock to uh for a character customization. And then um I swear I got forty of them in a row. <laughs> and then you know I, I got and then I got four black cards. It was like Volus upgrade. <laughs> and I was like, I want I want my bloody black widow. Give yeah. me my black widow and I was like, No Black card Volus <laughs> I was filled with so much rage, I almost threw my mouth across the room. It's the only time I got angry with Mass Effect. Because I was all out of um, level 4 um, Cyclonics. Yeah. I was basically at level 4 everything, I was basically gone. And I was just like... How dare you give me these things? I don't care what colours my uh, characters are. Yeah, on this alt account, I'm just going to leave them all at default, which I think, by the looks of it, it's just going to be red for every class. Or at least red for the classes I've seen so far. All the humans are red. The Turian I've played is red. I mean, I do like making my characters look very ugly. I mean, my TGI looks like they're, um... What's that kid show with the swords where the bots join together? Power Ranger? Yeah, Power Ranger. Yeah, I made, <laughs> I made my TGI kind of look Power Ranger-ish. I used to love that show as a kid. Yeah, there's, I haven't, there's like so many versions of Power Rangers now, it's like weird. How, how many but, times um, you can make make the same show over and over again? Oh, I do not know. You do not know. What, Shawnee Boy? Uh, do you mean, are you talking about Power Rangers? I'm talking about Power Rangers. Um, they're not ones well, in general, just shows that they can make over and over again. Because there's some shows right now that are that were made in the 80s that are still have some version of it still playing. Oh, yeah. Oh. Isn't, isn't like Power Rangers is mostly repurposed mech shows from like the 80s and 90s anyway? Not so much right now, because I think um, all the transitions are caught up. You call them Basically, translations, but it, but you basically, basically all it is is like they take the action scenes and splice them in with Americans talking. And then they dub over the American voices. Yep. But it's not even like a, a translation, it's just a legitimate, like, they just take footage from something else and thinking, hey, Will Top, you creeping in my bloody games again. Where are you? There you are. I remember watching when they used to release movie. I don't know if they still do or not. But every year or so they used to re release a movie and I watched it and I went I can't believe I wasted my money on this garbage and then I went and watched another one <laughs> I mean I loved the TV series as a kid but the movie when I actually had to pay for it myself I went Ivan Ooze? I'm never watching <laughs> I'm never watching this again What was it? This one that came over it was pretty good. But Power this Ranger was gone. Oh, this was gone like 20 years back. Yeah. Thank God I didn't know what cosplay was. I probably a cosplaying um, Power Ranger. <laughs> I mean, still, Power Ranger is still a popular Halloween costume. I'd rather do the Steve Irwin. That's what, a good uh, Halloween one. Safari suit nice with a with a blood stain yeah. in your heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the old Stingray. <laughs> uh. 
khakis, khakis and a and tomato sauce. <laughs> I thought he was a national treasure. I thought he was practically on your Mount Rushmore. Oh, well, it's been 20 years apparently, so it's okay to do it now. Has it really been that long since he got killed? Oh, it's been ages. Seem that long ago, does it? What was the the kid's like 25 now? Sure. I'm pretty sure it was like 20 years around this date. When, when did Steve Irwin, Irwin die? I'm pretty sure it was 20 years. Like, it's 15 years ago, I think. Around 15 years ago. But I'm telling you. You should notice my heart, man. Yeah, he's like. Oh, I didn't love him that much. He was the only I'm, I'm half, decent thing fr half decent thing from Australia. I like the South Park version. Of that and the more. Simpsons episode. 2006. Uh, yeah. 15 years ago. Oh, wow. Time flies. Yeah, the Steve, the, I, lo I love the Steve version version of... Um, I mean, the South Park version of Steve Irwin. Is that right? I'm gonna get on this, you know what I'm gonna do? Jam my thumb up there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I haven't watched the Crocodile Dundee movie in oh, a long Call a knife. Now that's a, that's a, that's a throw a shrimp, shrimp on the barbie, and you call that a knife. This is yep. a knife. Apparently, Americans love the um, Crocodile Dundee. Don't ask me why. I don't think I've seen him Crocodile Dundee. I just saw the, the clip about the knife and then that was it. Yeah. That's... I kind of I kind of found the uh, the Simpsons reference more funny. <laughs> All right, I see you played Knifey Spoon before. <laughs> <laughs> That entire episode is fucking f funny. Five hundred dollar dues. <laughs> More of the. Uh... And then what do you call it? Um, when they release the cane toad or the bullfrog. And he just like overthrows like, the where's, entire. Where's the frog? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's the stupidest thing. Australia, um. Apparently the cane toad's big in um, Hawaii, it's a big pest or something like that. Mm. And Australia thought it would be a good idea going, oh, Fine let's um, bring that in to eat all the bugs on our cornfields and stuff like that. Find that episode <laughs> offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. It was hilarious. As an Australian, I approve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd love it. See, you played Knifey Spoonie before. <laughs> <laughs> I would have called him Chazawazzers. Okay. And then was it? Uh, does your toilet flush the other way? Hang on, mate. I've got to go a mile <laughs> towards the next one. To see. <laughs> what, yeah, what's the charges? Do you accept the reverse charges from America, yeah? Does your toilet flush backwards? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, gotta go six kilometers the other way to test the second toilet out. <laughs> <laughs> it leaves it on hold. Yeah. 500 dollars dues. I got an emergency call from Springfield. There's something wrong with the bidet. <laughs> Fuck that. I like the, uh, the, the bit with the boot. The guy just coming in with a fucking giant boot. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he gives him a moonie at the end. Like, you missed. Oh dear. Back when the Simpsons were good. Yeah. It's peak Simpsons that that era. What's the uh the, the bit where Marge like tries ordering a coffee but the guy's the guy's like beer? No, coffee. Beer. <laughs> B A A R <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, it's always a... That was back in the uh, early days of Simpsons where whenever the Simpsons would go to another country, it was actually kind of funny. Oh, yeah, I like when they did the Japanese version too. Oh, Mr. The Sparkle. Yeah. It's like, how did we come up with Mr. Sparkle? Fish, light bulb. Um, what was the other one? Just there were three just... thingos that made him. Was it a fish and a... A light bulb, wasn't I think, it? I think it was just a fish and a light bulb because uh, Bart just refers, refers to him as fish bulb. <laughs> or something like that. One, there was a third one too. And then they end up on a game show. They become dirt fucking par because he buys like square melons, but as soon as he picks it up, it <laughs> turns back into a melon. <laughs> and it, like, oh, it drops I it. dropped it. <laughs> Oh dear. Fit <laughs> Did I become an expert expert at origami, wasn't it? Oh that, that that's the, they have that high tech toilet which has all the fireworks and shit and then for, for, for some odd reason it has like a fucking camera pointing up in there. <laughs> oh well it is Japan to be honest. Oh yeah yeah. Probably for exactly. nefarious reasons. That's all you ever have to say. It is Japan, and you go, yeah, you know what, you're right. <laughs> Those Japanese with their weird stuff, so on and so yeah. forth. He's like, you can't believe they did that. It's Japan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I believe it now. <laughs> it's like when you say it's the it's the version of um. That would never happen in America. It happened in Florida. Oh yeah, okay, okay, I believe it. Hundred percent believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at Florida. No. Yeah. That's what we say in ta uh, uh, Tasmania. Tasmania Tasmania is our version of Florida. I remember the show, the show Tasmania, like the, uh, it was like a Looney Tunes spin-off, I guess, like. Ta I think it was just called Taz, actually. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was Tasmanian Devil, the guy, the the one that Spins. spun around a shitload, made a tornado or something. Yeah, spun around and put blue raspberries and ate everything. Apparently, he has a family in Tasmania. Yeah, all our well. Apparently all the Tasmanian Devils got chlamydia and they're dying. So every time I saw one of those, I, I always went, oh, he's got chlamydia. I thought it was the uh, koalas that had the clap. Like people, yeah, but... People, um, people catching chlamydia oh, yeah, off, yeah, yeah. Koala, uh, off koalas because they get pissed on. Yeah, but I think um, the Tasmanian Devils get, because they're all inbreeding, they're all inbred. They're super inbred, apparently, and um... Oh yeah, I can't, I, you know, their social, social customs in, in the Tasmanian culture is very, uh... Yeah, well, that's why you gotta separate the brothers and sisters out. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Cousins right. only. <laughs> Cousins and step, step siblings. Yeah. Oh dear. Is that because it's Tasmania? Yeah. Just to throw it out, it's not, I was talking about, it's I was not about... true, but we just say it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone has the uh, look, you know, the nearby inbred community, don't they? Like, oh, even though it's not inbred, it's just like, oh, look at them, they're all a bunch of inbreds down there, you don't trust them, they're fucking weird. Yeah, I call that the royal family. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not the, uh, what is it, the Hapshers, what the fuck they're called? The, the ones that, like, pretty much, like, took over most of Europe, but they were, like, so, like, Inbred that they had like those fucked up jaws and whatnot. Yeah, well, isn't that the reason why the UK people have bad teeth? Uh, I can't speak for that. I have bad teeth because I didn't look after them when I was a kid. But uh, as for uh, everyone else, uh, I don't know. It's all jaw jaw work, though, isn't it? I don't know, but every like every Englishman I see on YouTube 
has fucked up bottom teeth. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But this one guy I watch for, um, he just does hard drive reviews and um, stuff like that. Yeah, he's. I sometimes I have to put my hand over his mouth just to listen. away. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> You know, now I'm thinking about it. I've never, because I don't look at other people's teeth, to be honest. But I've never like, you know, it might be something to that, like having bo a bottom set of teeth that aren't that good. Hi, I'm gonna tap. All right. Well, it's been good chatting to you, playing with yeah. you. Welcome to the server again. <laughs> again, yeah. See you. Have a good night. good night. Good night. Good night. So, don't know how much longer I'm going to be going for. I was thinking about I need to because I need to go to bed at some point, but I also need to get some have some food. I mean, I don't even have yeah, to be I'm in work tonight. It. I'll put in a chat to the guy's page, and then he can have a look at his teeth, his YouTube page. Ooh. Well, you didn't have the, br the bravery to find a good timestamp to screenshot it? Oh, you're lucky I did that. I went that far. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Let me have a look. I've got, I've got him full screened. Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. I'm like, not even 10 seconds into his channel trailer. He sounds English to me, so I'm assuming he is. Yeah, he sounded English to me. I didn't, I didn't listen to it super loud. I, I didn't want it getting onto onto the feed. I mean, to be fair, my bottom teeth... I think my bottom teeth might be worse than his, to be honest. That's good I've never seen you in full screen then. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I tend to avoid. Well, I try to, I, I like, I don't want to be like, I don't know if I, I should call, call, use the words insecure, but I'm, I'll say, I'll say self-aware enough that I'll try and avoid to like do open smiles. Oh and yeah, yeah, I get you. So like I do like, I do like the uh, closed mouth smiles that looks like an awkward, you know, white guy smirk. Yeah. Well, I had no, I've basically two of my front teeth were worn down next to nothing. So I used to do the same thing. All I want for I Christmas is my two the, front um, teeth. Wait. Yeah. I basically somehow chipped two of them on both of them on the edge and they just, like over the years they've worn away, just from use. Hmm. And um, I was just like, oh, I'll get that fixed soon enough. Get that fixed soon enough. That it took me about 15, 10 to 15 years to get it fixed. <laughs> Dentistry is expensive. It's 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 fucked up. Well, they got they got that one down that was like, oh, are you a meth addict? <laughs> you know that meth addict look? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was kind of like that, just but with my front two teeth. So eventually, I was like, eh, because like ninety eight percent of the time I couldn't give a fuck. And then like the two percent of the times they go, oh that doesn't look so good. I better get that fixed. And then it just took me ages to get it done. Yeah, I mean it's all my uh, ba uh, back teeth. I mean I've got a cavity in my f one of my front teeth, but uh, all my back it's all in the back where it's completely fucked. You know, holes, cavities, missing teeth, that kind of shit. Right. Uh, just from eating too much sweets and stuff like you know. I'd, when I'm at work, just because I work in a warehouse, sometimes I'll just like ha go off to one side and have and have some and have a snack or some food. I mean, obviously you're not allowed to have food on the shop floor, but like, well, it's only wrong if you get caught. Yeah, well, everything's only wrong if you get caught. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's funny. Cause I, I I think I'm like got like I don't I I can go I can go f for a long time without chocolate at home, but like. At work, I have to have like a chocolate bar or something every couple of hours, otherwise I get fucking irritable. 
you know, like how most people, it's like it's like the same sense of like you know when people are at work they smoke cigarettes more than they do at home. I'm right. kind of like that with chocolate. I get snappy if I don't have like a Snickers or a Mars bar or something if every like a couple of hours. It's kind of fucked up. Are you just trying to make that ad come true? The ad? You know the Snickers, the Snickers ad? I'll get some nuts. Yeah, they just uh, they go crazy, and then they go have a Snickers, and then they all calm down and be zen. Yeah, it's like oh, you a real bitch when you you get bitchy without when you're hungry. Have a Snickers. Yeah. Not too far you're off, yeah. To make, you're just trying to make that ad come, come to life. No, it's a reality. Trust me. But there, was, but there was one time, like, because like usually I'll I'll have the cho I'll have a chocolate bar like when I've got downtime. So like if if everything's go going automatically, but if I, like if I have to manually like move boxes like, across the belt or whatever, then it's uh that's when I then I don't I don't get downtime and then I you know I start getting annoyed and pissy. Ah, uh, good old Gatorade does the trick for me. Oh yeah, I have no Lucas Aid. have Lucasade. Every so often a bottle of Lucasade off to the side. Most... I just have one of those and then I'm good for like ten hours. Yeah. I'll tell you what what happened what uh what I used to have that my teeth weren't were bad but they weren't super bad until I found until the uh, one of my local shops started selling like these things called banana eclairs. You know like how you know the chocolate the toffees, the chocolate toffees with the uh, eclairs, where it's like you know toffee with a chocolate with chocolate in the middle of it. Well, nah, well uh, we call eclairs. Uh, it was basically like a, a donut bun with yeah, chocolate on well, top and cream in the middle of it. Well, yeah, we have them as well, and they're also called eclairs. But like I'm talking about, like the you know the Cadbury's eclairs, where it's like toffee with chocolate, like a toffee with like a bit of chocolate in the middle of it. I don't know why they have the same name, but. Anyway, there was like there was what. Let's something different down here. Yeah. But like they call um. God. But anyway. Oh yeah. Well, anyway. Yeah. They, yeah. The uh. So the one that I f I came across was banana had banana like flavoring in the middle of it, but it's obviously like just it's just like probably just a syrup or like a sw or a sweet. Rather than yeah, uh, anything that's banana, like I don't think a banana's even touched it. Yeah, but you English are weird. Was it blood pudding? Black pudding. That's more of a Scottish thing, isn't it? Oh no, it's haggis. Yeah, black pudding, which is like. Uh, Blood and I think it's just I don't know it's like blood and stuff I can't blood and guts. Yeah, it's just. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I, I you know stuff like black pudding and haggis. You know, surely someone has to try that and and enjoy that before they get told what's actually in it. You know. I just look at it and I like. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks I'll nice. I'll never but... try. Ah, oh, it looks disgusting to me. I mean, it's like in slices. It looks all right. And uh, I mean, regular sausage is just fucking, you know, sheep's bollocks and donkey's ears anywhere. Yeah, but Australians know how to make sausages look good. Oh yeah, I've heard about your snags, or whatever the fuck they call them. Yeah, hey, we make it an art form. <laughs> Bangers and mash is like, eh, that's disgusting. I don't like mashed potato. Oh, so do I. I hate it. But for me, for me, it's I, I like chips and wedges and also and other potato stuff. But like just mashed potato, it's like mashed potato and fried eggs. Uh, it, it's just the texture. It makes me gag. I, I love fried eggs. Right, Tiny side up eggs are great. Like uh, like my eggs scrambled. I can eat um, steamed potato, fried 
fried potato, chips, but mashed potatoes, that has that. Like, can't do it. It's the same thing, it's just basically texture. Maybe. Like, I can't eat snow peas. Snow peas? They, they make me sick, yeah. Snow, oh, they're like the, um, you can eat the peas, but they've got the pot around it. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. Like eating a banana with a skin on it. But that makes me sick, and, um, celery. Celery is the uh, uh, one thing that makes me, um, Makes me sick. Not much to celery anyway. If... Oh, I'm, my teeth buds are stuck between a a super taster and a good taste, like in tastings. Like I can usually halfway between, like I can guess what, like I can separate flavors out and shit like that. But I'm not really well trained in it. Yeah, but okay. like I can go, I can go. Um, oh, it's got this in it. It's got that in it. And it's just something about celery when you when I bite it and whatever juice comes out of it from the fibers, it just like makes me gag. Same with olives. I can't eat olives, but I can. I like deep frying stuff in it. But I can't actually have the olive itself. Yeah. What's the? Uh, I don't like olives. Like it's just they just taste weird. Uh, might be back in a bit. Lag makes it extra spicy but fun. How was the lag on your end? Uh, grab. It's pretty good. I don't know. As I said, I only had a couple. I felt more like game errors to me than lag. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, you. Wiltop was playing a Fury, that is very lag uh, susceptible, I guess, if you want to call it that. Because he's, uh, he's, he's from uh, Australia as well, I don't know whereabouts. Oh, it's it's the guy who plays what's eating his dinner. <laughs> Fred, oh, another Australian. Fregret. Oh, is, <laughs> is he an Australian? The Fregret? Or are you talking about Wiltop? Ah, uh, Wiltop. Can... Oh, to be fair, we're we're on the other side of the world, so we get lag wherever we play. So, and you always you always, you always say that like you got internet like a few years ago, like a oh, decent internet a few years ago, and that's it. Still catching up. Yeah, pretty much. What do you call it? Um, well, if you're lucky enough, you got the good NBN. There's still some people out there with shitty, uh, <laughs> shitty, shitty, uh, internet. <laughs>